Hi guys, it's Bloyne. Today is day 23 of the Clutter Free in... Oh, day 24 of the Clutter Free in 5 challenge. I cannot believe there's what, 6 or 7 days left. It is crazy, probably less actually. Um. Anyway, today is to declutter our emails. I am not going to do this, <laughs> which sounds bizarre, but I have a good reason. As many of you know, about three years ago, I retired from my career and I closed my company. As a result of closing my company, I have to keep all records and files for up to seven years in case there would be a dispute or an audit or something like that. And so I still have four more years of keeping all of those records and files. And a great deal of my email clutter is business emails or company emails. And so I did, three years ago, transfer those into folders and such so that if I did need them in the next seven years that I could access them. And while I'm sure I have email clutter that I could declutter today that is non-business related, we'll say like three years or younger, I am choosing not to do that. <laughs> slightly lazy, I know, and slightly against the point but what I thought I would do today is to take the email clutter on a slight tangent and so I keep a great deal of like writing paper and cards and um, note paper that sort of thing on hand to send cards and write letters and such and honestly in the last few years I have gotten bad at this uh, they're all thrown in one drawer and I have been thinking, wondering to myself, I have this beautiful writing desk downstairs in my sitting room. It's currently in a corner but during the renovations it will move location and become more prominent because I want to use it more. And I'm thinking to myself that I might actually move the cards and the notepaper and sort of stuff I would use in that vein down there um, so that I will actually use it more um, and so I'm going to sort it out and tidy it up and hopefully I think from an earlier declutter um, I have already made space in that writing desk to take this stuff so first we will go into the office we will tidy up and go through the things there's a, a couple of things in that drawer maybe not all of them will come downstairs but we will take a look and see. Here's the drawer and I'm pretty sure that it's full of crafting and carving supplies, little gift tags, uh, envelopes and writing cards. I was wrong. Here we've got a couple of sewing kits and denim hole punch things I think they are. Uh, here is the start of all the new cards. Here we've got gift tags and table place name cards. I might have excessive amount of stationery. Okay, it's at this point I'm realizing we may have a stationery problem. May. I also have an obsession with putting everything in boxes. I have no idea where this came from. The drawer needs a definite clean out, but Indiana's asleep, so that will have to wait before I bring the hoover up. Now I'm just trying to figure out what it is I actually have and group as many like things together as of blank cards I felt, felt it was better to keep the card making supplies here in the office and the cards downstairs. I may reevaluate that again. My thought process behind this is I don't always make a card to send but sometimes I do send a blank card or an unmade card if that makes sense. I'm thrilled 
almost be emptying a couple of boxes here. This is great. Seeing the sheer volume of cards and envelopes that I have makes me feel like I either need to make a concerted effort to start sending more and more, or I really do need to downsize and declare here. need a huge hoovering. And these are all the cards and envelopes that I'm left with. This is the writing desk in question and as you can see it's currently stuffed in a little corner here in our sitting room. It's beautiful. I've had it for couldn't tell you how long. I don't actually even know where it came from. When our renovations are complete it's hard to imagine for you guys what we're going to be doing. But the writing desk is most likely going to go in this alcove here on its own. The room is going to be completely different by the end of all of the renovations. And so it will have the whole space to itself. Hard to imagine, obviously, now with a big TV and TV unit there. But they will not be there at this point. And it will be balanced out by this is my grandmother's china cabinet filled with, well, her and my china. Um, the room will, yeah, <laughs> it'll be very different in ways and that won't be there either. So over here, I think I do have some writing material here. Yes. So these are some writing things here. I am going to tidy out this whole area. Um, as you can see, I don't use it a great deal. Uh, right now and obviously I've got this space free as well so I'm going to free up some space here to put these items I pulled from upstairs and here it is the finished product I'm really happy with it I've got my um, address stamp and some ink pads there all the envelopes, cards, writing materials, notes and stuff all together. They're not like organized as I would have liked them because the drawers weren't deep enough to stand certain things together. But at least they're all in one place. And I feel like now when this becomes more of a writing desk, um, as you can see, it's a really beautiful piece of furniture. I will actually give it a bit of... Um, a, a kind of a refresh paint job these are just a couple of things that normally go in my handbag but I don't always need them this is actually something I took out of one of the drawers just to put it somewhere and all those little notebooks and notes they are all from novels I'm either working on or going to work on so it's a lovely little um, desk as you can see and I just feel that having all the note cards and such together down here will make it easier and this one here now is it's kind of it's a weird mix a few um other journals and notebooks and reference things my slimming world books because i take these out every week um spare bags and these are actually my diabetic um uh, monitors and such i get gestational diabetes when i'm pregnant and so 
um, that's where I keep them. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was a nice take on the email um, declutter, especially if email isn't a big thing for you or if you don't need to declutter that right now, that perhaps writing letters is something you either love to do or would love to do more of. And so setting up a nice little station or going through everything, as you can see, I didn't actually declutter anything. Um, because I really do like to keep a stock on, on hand. I do use the letters and the cards throughout the year and such, and I always like to have one just in case. And as I mentioned, my big motivation for doing this is because I love to receive post postcards, all of that sort of stuff. And I have some wonderful friends who know this. Every time they go away, they send me a postcard, which I adore. Um, and so I want to start like reciprocating that more. I do, but not as much as I would like. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like to receive a traditional card or letter in the mail or the post. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you guys tomorrow. Bye.